follow-up video to a video that I posted about two weeks ago. I think I titled it something along the lines of I stumbled across a cult after dark <laughs> and ever since I posted that video so many of you guys have been giving me your thoughts on what it was you think that I stumbled upon but also a lot of you have been asking me if there's any sort of update to that and there kind of is. If you guys have yet to see that video, I will definitely put the link down in the description. You can head on over and check it out. But in essence, or rather in summary, around two weeks ago, my dog wanted to go for a walk late at night and I very naively and very stupidly decided that it would be safe to bring him to a park not too far from my house for him to go about his walk and do his business. It sounds ridiculous, but I've done this so many times in the past. Well, I wouldn't say so many times, but I've definitely done it in the past, so it wasn't like it was anything out of the ordinary for me or anything that I deemed as unsafe, which, like I said in that video, was extremely naive of me and I definitely will not be doing that again. Um, but I took him to the park and that was when we stumbled upon hooded people sitting around what looked to be like a candle in the center of something. I heard what sounded like chanting. Now as I'm there trying to have my eyes adjust, I noticed that more of these hooded people started coming out from like the trees surrounding the area and I started to get a really uneasy feeling so I went to grab Ace to leave and that was when they called out after me telling me don't leave, come back and we just ran. Following that we noticed that there was a salt circle where that had taken place and then there was what appeared to be blood in that area so I brought it on here to my channel to basically ask you guys what it was you thought that I stumbled across, what it was that they could have been doing and let me just say you guys are the absolute best. You guys are the best at opening up my eyes, you guys are the best at giving an opinion, you guys are the best at educating me on things that I may not know, and a lot of you mentioned that it could have been a coven, and that it could have been individuals doing rituals that were harmless, seen as there was a salt circle, which is known for protection. Now I've known for a long time that salt circles and salt in general is known to ward off evil, and it is used for protection, so I'm definitely on the same page as you guys with that. And after I posted that video and started reading through all of your comments, I kind of felt a little more at ease at the fact that I stumbled across that late at night. But with that being said, where I still think that it's a very terrifying and very uncomfortable situation is that when I went to leave, they were calling out after me. I kind of feel like if people were just doing their own positive rituals or their own rituals in general, why would they be calling out to somebody else to come back unless it was to educate them? But it just, I didn't get that vibe at that time. And regardless, I wouldn't approach anybody at the park at dark that was calling out to me to come back, even if they weren't hooded and even if they weren't doing what appeared to be a ritual. Flash forward a couple of days, I should mention something that I've never talked about here on my channel is somebody in my building here that I've made myself that I've become acquainted with um, actually practices witchcraft. And the only reason that I know this, seen as we're solely acquaintances and I only say hi and whatever when I see her in passing in the building is because everybody gets to talking and they ask what you do and when I said what I do, she started to tell me how she practices magic. And at that particular moment in time, I really wanted to pick her brain. This was a long time ago actually because I want to do a video on witches and witchcraft and modern day witchcraft and I don't want to come in at an angle that makes witchcraft or witches look bad because I know that magic is used in all types of ways both positive also negative but more positive and that there are so many good things about it as well and I wanted to make my video on witchcraft and on modern day magic very informative and very straight fact as far as the reality of magic and how there's such a misconception that all magic is bad when that is certainly not the case. So I picked her brain a little bit on it in that quick moment in passing. She gave me little bits of information and books that I could read to learn more and it was a really great 10 to 15 minute conversation like I said a while back. Now. After I posted my video, like I said, I kind of felt more at ease because you guys came at me with a lot of positive things and it didn't seem like it was as scary as I kind of made it out to be in my mind. Because when you are there in the middle of the night and you witness that and people are calling out after you and you have to run with your seven pound dog, it is scary. But in hindsight, I started to feel a lot better about it. 
and that was when a couple of days ago I actually stumbled across that particular neighbor. I was getting ready to leave my apartment and she was getting ready to come into the apartment and I so awkwardly you guys, which I'm so proud of myself for because I have super 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 bad social anxiety so typically I wouldn't be the type of person to just stop somebody and ask such a strange question but I really wanted to know her particular opinion or maybe if she knew people that were doing it and so I stopped her and I kind of gave her the spiel on what had occurred to me at that specific park and she basically told me that in our area in particular there's a lot of people that practice magic but there's actually a lot of people that practice both good but also both bad magic and that a while back get a load of this a while back there were cats going missing and they would be turned up as if they'd been like sacrificed and I found that interesting because when you associate or when you picture witchcraft you would picture a cat as an association with a witch because cats are supposed to sense and ward off evil I believe that's why they were known to be with witches but I didn't quite understand why exactly a cat and I didn't start to think about how strange that was to me until after the interaction I mentioned the fact that the salt circle seemed to be to you guys and it made sense to me as well a positive thing because it's supposed to be a protection thing and she said well that is very true sometimes people will utilize those soul circles to protect themselves from the evil that they're summoning into something else or onto something else so they could be protecting themselves and they could have an object or something that they're doing outside of the soul circle and they don't want to be personally affected by it so they're summoning it outside of it she basically said that that park has been known because the way that it's set up essentially is there's lots of trees around but there's also an open space with direct contact and viewing of the moon and stars so it is a space that a lot of people practicing magic will go to to do their rituals and their moon cleansings and things like that so she did say that it could have been a totally harmless experience but to be very very careful with going over to the areas that something like that has recently occurred in because she knows of people practicing dark magic in my neighborhood I don't know this is all very strange to me this all doesn't make a ton of sense to me I don't know if she's giving me accurate information or not because I don't really know her and it was solely in passing and I'm kind of taking it for what it is and taking it with a grain of salt it has inspired me to re-dig into all of the magic and modern day witches and really get that video research on a roll again because I'm really excited to dive into it not only for myself but for others I feel like it's important to be educated on what it really means to be a modern day witch and what it really means to practice magic but to think about the fact that there were cats turning up missing and looking like they were sacrificed is just so scary to me and to think that would be going on in my neighborhood is really unsettling. I don't know you guys, what do you think of this whole thing? I know this is kind of a silly update, I know it's so minor, but I would really like to hear what you guys think of it because you guys are so educated, I know that a bunch of you actually practice magic yourself, and so I wanted to hear what you guys think of this before I progress with my research on modern day magic and modern day witchcraft because I'm so inspired to do that video now more than ever to kind of educate myself as well because you don't want to associate rituals solely with negativity and that was kind of what I did last time around and I don't want to be doing that I want to be able to go into it with an open mind it's just when I was there at the park and people started yelling for me to come back it just gave me such an, a nauseating feeling in my stomach and I felt like something was very 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 off oh a lot of you also mentioned that it might not have been blood it might have been like wine or candle wax definitely wasn't candle wax not opposed to the idea of like a deep dark wine but I don't know it's just the way that it was dripped I don't know it was it was very very strange with that being said there was clearly something very spooky going on in my neighborhood and I am definitely not going to be leaving my house and wandering around late at night again but I really want to know what you guys think, so that is basically my little update. Please let me know in the comments below what you guys think is going on there. And that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for being the best family in the whole wide world and for always educating me and giving your points of view and just commenting all the time into my videos and telling me what you guys think of things. It means the absolute world to me and I'm so incredibly blessed to have this family. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and please give this video a big thumbs up. What, the, what was that? Big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Remember my loves, do all things with kindness. And until next time, I love you guys.